Ivy and I are going to do a little bit of work on the exercises that we need to do for our grade two gun dog test for the hunting retriever category. So um, she did her grade one back in February um, and we were hoping to do her grade two only a couple of months after but obviously coronavirus hit and that wasn't allowed. So we have now got ourselves booked in for a test at the end of July and we are going to use today as a little bit of a benchmarking exercise to see where we are with the exercises and what areas we need to improve on. Now I have a feeling I know what areas we need to improve on but it's good to do the exercise anyway um, just to see how big those gaps might be. So. Let's see how we get on. So the test is split into three sections and it starts out with obedience. So we start out doing heel work and for the hunting retriever you have to heel your dog off lead for 20 yards. Now heel work is probably one of our weakest behaviours I think and it's not that she goes charging above, it's just her position is not particularly great. She's a little bit in front, um, she's not kind of glued to my side. So we definitely need to work on improving that. Then you move on to the sit stay aspect. So you are to ask your dog to sit with one clear cue and they should respond nice and quickly. And then you walk away the required distance. So for the Spaniels, it is 20 yards. And then when you get to the 20 yard marker, you have to wait there for one minute. Your dog should remain steady. And I think you can give one reminder, but Ivy is quite good with her sit stay. I'm quite comfortable with this. Um, and so no reminders needed. So I'm hoping she can get full marks for this section to make up for her shoddy heel work. So I have sped this section of the video up slightly just because it is boring to watch people stand still for a full minute. Um, but she completed that successfully. So then we move on to the next part, which is recall. So for the test, you have to then recall your dog from the sit stay back to you and I was really pleased with that so some of you who've watched my previous videos might know that Ivy used to kind of whiz past me a bit or whiz through my legs on that recall but now I'm getting a nice sit in front so that's really good so again hopefully that would be full marks or as close to it for the test and then we move on to the next section which is the stop whistle so for this you have to heal your dog 10 yards then blow your stop whistle as you're walking and your dog should stop and remain in place while you then continue walking 10 yards you then walk back to your dog pick them back up at heel and walk back to the starting post so she did that really nicely the stop response was solid again her heel works not the best um, but we can definitely work on that in the next few weeks so that's good then we had a nice little play because that was the end of the obedience section so the next section of the test that we're going to move on to is the retrieving section. So there's a variety of different retrieves that we need to complete. The first one is a memory retrieve. So we have to walk the dog out off lead. You then place the dummy down and for the test they use one pound green dummies. So that is what we are practicing with in this session to try and replicate that. Um, and then you have to heal your dog back to the starting point and for the hunting retrievers or spaniels, um, the distance for this one is 20 yards. And then the assessor will tell you when to send your dog. Now with all of the grade two retrieves, delivery to hand is essential. And so anyone that's watched some of our previous videos will know that delivery is something that we have been working on. Um, we've had some issues with her kind of whizzing past me a bit and she not always reliably delivering to hand. So for the last few months, we've just been doing formal retrieves with the use of the place board. So she has a nice clear target. Um, and this was the first session in months that we've not used it. So this was a really good test for our delivery. Um, and you can see in that last one that we got success. So I was really pleased with that and let's hope that continues. So then we move on to the next section of the test, which is the directional retrieves. So in the test, you will have someone throwing those dummies for you, but you have your dog set up and you have a dummy thrown either side at 20 yards from the dog. The assessor then selects which one you they want you to pick and then you have to send your dog for that one. So in this exercise, I did one where I sent her to the first dummy throne and one where I sent her to the second dummy throne just to kind of proof whichever option was out. Um, and we got success in both times. So that was really, really nice. And again, another successful delivery to hand. So this is me just setting up the second one where I'm going to send her for the last dummy throw. Now 
Now I was also quite pleased in this session because when working with one pound dummy, sometimes I can struggle with the pickup or can drop it halfway back to me, but she seemed to be reliably um, picking it quite cleanly and bringing it straight back. And that was one of the things that we lost points on when we did our grade one. So it's nice to see that that has also improved. And then the next retrieve as part of the test is a 30 yard marked retrieve. Now, because I am not very good at throwing, I'm walking in to get this out 30 yards for her. Um, but that's one of the things that I'm going to have to kind of cross my fingers on a little bit on the day because we haven't had the opportunity to train with other people for the last few months. And so I'm not sure how steady she's going to be to other people throwing dummies. So that's going to be an interesting one. But she's always very steady to me. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um, then send the dog out for the retrieve and again get a nice delivery to hand which we do so another successful one. And then the final part of the retrieve section is a second marked retrieve this time at 25 yards away from the dog but it should land in light cover. Now this field doesn't really have light cover it's either thick bushy edges or nothing um, so I've thrown it there into the rough at the side of the field and then line and centre for it and she's got no issues going into that cover picking the item and bringing it back nice and cleanly again. So. I'm pretty pleased with all of those aspects of the retrieve section and hopefully if we just continue doing what we're doing in terms of our retrieve practice over the next few weeks then we should get at least a pass in that section. And then the last section of the hunting retriever test is hunting. So this field is 100% not appropriate for this activity and I was not expecting her to give me anything particularly nice but I thought for the sake of the video we might as well try and film it. Um, and what they're looking for in the test is that your dog just shows uh, enthusiasm for hunting and a willingness to work away from you and investigate light cover. So they're not looking for any particular quartering patterns or anything like that, just simple enthusiasm for hunting. And then at some point the assessor will ask you to recall your dog and that's it for the test. So I was quite pleased with how that session went. I don't think there's any glaring holes that would mean that we are going to fail the test, which is always good. We definitely need to work on tidying up our heel work. Um, but again, I don't think we'd fail that section. I think we'd just lose points, um, but definitely one to work on. And the other areas seem to be working as they need to. So just continuing with the training in those areas um, to make sure that they are well proofed. And then hopefully we will pass. So. If you have any tips or advice or questions, please feel free to pop them in the comments below. And if not, thanks for watching and wish us luck.